congratulate you on your restaurant, Rani. I never knew such an elegant place existed on Malabar Hill. What shall we call it? The green room? The sky room? The top of the world? The service was excellent, and the food superb. Here, take the menu home with you. Yes. I'd like to. After our last outing, I didn't expect you'd want to see me again. I tried, but I couldn't get you out of my mind. No, not too much. I really must get into town and do my shopping. But what can you possibly buy that is more precious than these moments we have together? Well, let me see. Um, a new electric iron, new beds, beds for our beach house, a tennis racket press for... For again? Yes. I'm very fond of Maggin. He's a good person. Better than most, I think. But... But nothing. Do you expect me to tell you how horrid he's been? Well, he hasn't. He's never said a harsh word to me in the three years we've been married, and I haven't been exactly easy to live with. I'm beginning to realize that. You're strong-willed, independent, stubborn. Are those things so bad to be? For a woman, yes. Especially for an Indian woman. You're impossible. Well, that's the use, Rani. We can never change each other. You might as well go shopping and just drop me off someplace in town. I wouldn't expect you to waste an afternoon with a strong-willed, independent and... Stubborn woman. Thank you. I almost forgot what I was. Rani. Just leave me alone. I want you. You, after you, I couldn't stand any other woman. I must have you. No, that isn't love. No, not to. Please. You hurt me. Don't you know love can't be taken by force? Forgive me, Ronnie. I'm no more than some female flesh to you. No, no. That isn't true, Ronnie. It, it's just that ever since my marriage... You have a wife? No. She died a month after we were married. It was a long time ago. How awful. Did she? Was she killed in an accident? Nothing is an accident. She was 14 years old and I was 18. I married her because it was my father's dying wish. She was like a flower waiting to open. I did not touch her. I wanted to give her a chance to grow up a little and know me better. to love me. Then, one night while I was working as a typesetter, the riots broke out again. Some men came to our house and they threw on the bed of me. So the only way I could say it would be you got our knife. Please. Please, that's enough. Come. It's getting late. Honey. You don't want anything more to do with me. I'm a grown woman and I've seen a great deal of the world. I know what I'm doing. I'll ask Maggie for a divorce as soon as possible. I love you, I love you. Don't you love me? If I could marry anyone, I would marry you. 
What are you talking about? In the society I belong to, I've taken an oath never to get married. Oh. <laughs> Is that all? All. Grown men playing boys' games of secret societies, you can't be serious. It's no use. But you can't I've take... told you, I've taken an oath never to get married. A gun. Pawn it. Then take the day off. What have you got there? Nothing. Do not return here. There was a policeman around earlier asking questions. If he's still hanging about, be careful. He went through the whole building. Sure you've got nothing there? Who is our friend in there? A poet, I think. The gun? He is a strange one. Stand over there by the steps. They may try as soon as he appears. When he comes from his room, the crowd may break through the cordon. We should have police lines to hold them back. Can you imagine the Mahatma permitting the police to push around anyone? Are you going to station a man in the gardener's cottage? He would be wasted there. That window is less than three feet above the ground. Once the prayer meeting starts, it would be completely blocked by the crowd. I have told the gardener not to allow anyone inside. From these steps to that platform. That's the part that worries me the most. Chief! Yes, Bose? I think you better come back to headquarters. Have you found someone? Yes. Now you stay here. Chief, there are hundreds of them. He'll be coming from the house at exactly five o'clock. That is one thing you can count on. He is never late. I'd better set my watch with yours. It's five to three. Come along. <laughs> I mean, Chief. Some of them we don't even have the legal right to hold. Do not release anyone until six o'clock. But Chief, I I'll don't assume full responsibility. Let me know immediately if any kind of a lead is turned up. Come with me. You're next. <laughs> 